Hi guys, I am going to be doing my last Halloween tutorial and I was inspired by this crown that I've had for a really long time and it also came with these earrings right here and I, I forgot where I got this um, but I just thought it would be really cute. I'm going to be doing a princess look but this could also be if you want to do something glamorous i guess you could you you could use the same makeup so it doesn't have to be for this exactly but um this is what i had in mind when i uh thought of this look so let's okay, get started so the first thing i'm going to do is put on a primer and today i'm using the rimmel fix and perfect primer and i'm using this one because my face is a bit dry and this feels sort of like a moisturizer so that's why i'm using that Next, we are going to use one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and it is L'Oreal's True Match, and this one is in W5, and I'm just going to apply that with my hands. Next, we are going to use a concealer, and today I'm using my Revlon Age Defined Concealer, and this one is great because it also has it also has a moisturizing feel to it and doesn't uh, cake up. Okay, and now since I want a little bit of a glow, I'm going to put all over my face uh, from the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Bronzing Powder. I'm going to use the bronzer side because it has a little bit of a shimmer. Next, I am going to contour because I feel like um, since we're going for like a princess glamour sort of look, uh, the face structure should be a little bit more defined. Next, we are going to put on blush, and I'm using another e.l.f. product, and this one is Pink Passion, and it looks really bright, but I want to go for like a really uh, pinky sort of blush, and this is definitely very, very pink. Okay, and next I am going to put on for highlights, um, I'm trying to do all drugstore products, so I'm going to put on the Milani Big Blush in, what's this called, Luminoso, because um, if you take a light hand to this, it will become a really pretty highlight. Okay, and to finish off the face products, I am going to put all over to set everything uh, my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and this is in beige medium. Um, I'm going to put on NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and this one is just depotted, that's why it looks like that.
Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes, and I decided to use the Wet n Wild palette called Dancing in the Clouds. And I picked this one because, to me, all these colors are really, really pretty, and they just remind me of very feminine, very girly, uh, except maybe for the purple. It's a little bit uh, out there, uh, really bright, but the other two are just, this eyelid color and the brow bone are just so beautiful that I wanted to use this palette. The first thing I'm going to do, actually, is put on the brow bone my NYX eyeshadow in Skin. And from this palette, I'm going to be taking the eyelid color and putting that on my lid and crease. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to be taking the brow bone color. Okay, and I'm going to put on the crease, this crease color, and I'm also going to use that as my outer corner color. Okay, and next we are going to apply that purple on this part of the eye. And to make this look a little bit more dramatic, I am going to use my Milani Liquify and putting that on the waterline and also creating just a little little bit of a wing I'm going to be smudging the upper liner with um, just a pencil brush And I'm just going to reapply some of that eyelid color because we lost some of the intensity. And for the lips, I am going to be using my Revlon lipstick in Sky Pink. And since we want that shimmer and glow, I'm going to be topping it with Revlon's Shine City and to finish off the look I am going to curl my lashes and put on the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara because it holds my curl really well and since I'm not putting on false eyelashes I need all the help that I can get. Okay, so we are finished with the makeup. I will be back uh, with the crown on and some other okay, things. Okay, guys, so this is the look that I created. Of course, I added the crown and 
these earrings and I added pearls just because I thought that that just was very princessy thing to do. I added this shiny ring and I also added this uh, really decorative bracelet and I wore my prettiest party dress and um, I just want to lift it up a little since I don't want to look naked but yeah this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it this was a lot of fun to do and again it doesn't have to be um, a princess look if you're going for like a fairy maybe or just you know you just want to get dressed up this could the eye makeup is not so crazy that you couldn't wear it out on a normal day so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon bye